My name is Jürgen Zosel. I'm the managing director of Orafol Fresnel Optics in Apolda. We are located pretty close to Jena, where are a lot of optical companies. Our focus are microstructured optics from very small dimensions in the range of 10 square millimeter up to one meter square. We are part of Orafol. Orafol is uh, our concern in, in Oranienburg is focused on very large films with uh, microstructures. And we do the same here uh, with uh, optical components, with microstructures, for example, for displays, sensors, lighting applications, the machine vision market, and solar. Uh, our main technology is the compression and the injection molding uh, technology uh, based to the machines you see here on this, or you could see on this slide. Uh, the compression moldings machines are very historical in our company. We started with this about 50 years ago for double condenser lenses for overhead protectors, for example. And we are able to produce very large components with very fine structures up to one square meter with this kind of technology. On the other side, we have a uh, the injection compression molding, which is meanwhile pretty similar to this, what you see on the left side. Uh, here we have the chance uh, to heat and cool every process uh, to generate uh, with this process a uh, component with a very low stress and finally with a very precise structure without a peak grounding, for example, in a Fresnel lens. So this makes it very helpful to support the customer with all of this kind of components. In the next step, we have a product enhancement where you where we implement interference layers, for example, like an AR coating, or we have a chance to put a metallization for reflective solutions, or we also can put an anti-scratch coating on a polymer surface uh, to support it to go to a similar design like you have it on glass. And this technology also does allow to create the anti-reflective nanostructure into a polymer. Uh, the polymer is a one way, but on the other side, we also have a chance to generate this nanostructure into a tool. And if we have once this nanostructure in a tool, we can go back to the compression or the injection molding and generate each component already uh, with this nanostructure and an additional coating at this point is no more needed. Uh, all of our parts are molded as a kind of blank. These uh, blanks need to be uh, trimmed in the next process, which you see in the center here. CNC trimming process is very important, uh, very flexible. Uh, we create the final dimension which the customer would like to have. And behind this, we have a optical inspection. This means every part which will leave our company is completely inspected. This can be done in a manual process, but meanwhile also in a completely automated system. Uh, in the next slide, you could see uh, precision replication in silicon on glass. Silicon on glass is a process which got developed and about 10 to 12 years ago for a solar process uh, for concentrated photovoltaic applications. Uh, it's not the best market today, but meanwhile, we are using these process also to supply different customers with this technology, with a kind of hybrid optics. We also or I also would like to show you some applications of our products for the machine vision market. Uh, for example, we have here uh, on the left side, the bottle retraction uh, for where you have on the top two uh, smaller optics to inspect the bottle on the button. You see a telecentric optic with a range of 600 by 600 millimeters to inspect the complete box or in the next picture, the red one shows a scanner with a large linear optics, sensors with small optics, displays uh, 
with structures or with printed versions, uh, head-up displays with diffusers. Um, on the right side, you see some optical uh, components for lighting applications. On the top, on the right side, it's a system which there are a couple of Fresnel lenses included. On the bottom, on the right side, you see a very large reflective solution. It's a lens array in a diameter of 1.2 meter, even if it looks uh, very small here at this point. So, and at the end, I would like to show you uh, or to tell you what we are doing uh, for our customers with the next project for the future. In our house, uh, we have uh, the optical design. We have the special software where we can support every customer with a lot of requests. We can uh, generate a new structure or we can support the customer with the design he has already prepared and can adapt it to the best way to realize a final product. Um, if this design is done, we can also uh, generate prototypes in PMMA, for example. With this prototype, a customer can take a first test if it works. And if this is a good solution, we have here in-house the option to generate a very important master. And all these masters can be replicated in a a uh, tooling tree with the galvanic replication process. Uh, this tooling tree is in different generations. So for example, here mother is the next generation. A stem ball is normally the final generation. We also can add one or two more generations if it's needed. And uh, these stem balls does allow to use these tools for a long time to support uh, the customer for a couple of years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, uh, to have very stable the tools available for the future. So I think this was the end of my presentation. 